Well, Sam, we all love our furry four-legged companions, right? So much so that we'll shell out big bucks on them every year. So how much do Americans spend annually on pets? And how far is one local company willing to go to make sure that your pets are in the best hands possible? We went to a local pet resort to get answers. A major new addition to one of Sacramento's well-known hotels. Big investment, just under a million dollars. This view, a pool with sparkling blue waters, a beach-style entry, waterfalls, a peaceful setting to relax and get away from it all. But it's not for humans. Here we go, guys! <laughs> Yes, you heard her right. One million dollars on a new space for your favorite pets. Lisa Chafee, owner of Animal Den in Sacramento, has poured her blood, sweat, and tears into the place, opening a second facility next door to the first with indoor dog rooms, outdoor dog runs for both big and small dogs, and the massive outdoor pool. It was about a two-year journey, 18 months to acquire city permits, a very patient and trying process. Animal Den is quickly becoming one of the most popular places for people in the Sacramento region to drop off their pets for a stay. She offers everything from boarding to grooming or a day of doggy daycare with some fun at the pool. And she says her almost $1 million investment is worth it. Business is booming. People travel with their pets. They include their pets in family photos. They buy Christmas, pet, Christmas gifts for their pets. They throw birthday parties for their pets. So it's crazy what people will do for, for their pets these days at no expense. But Chafee's not the only one spending big time money on pets. Americans are shelling out cash to make sure their four-legged family members are well taken care of. So how much do we spend on our pets every year? In 2014, Americans spent $58 billion on their 397 million pets. So what was that $58 billion spent on? $22 billion on food, $15 billion on vet care, $14 billion on supplies like beds, bowls, collars, and over-the-counter medication. Five billion on other services like grooming, boarding, walking, training, daycare, and pet pampering. And two billion on purchasing animals themselves. And Debbie Sievers agrees. She shells out for her four and a half year old standard poodle, Stewie, who's a regular at the animal den. I paid for childcare for my children and uh you know, of course I pay for it for my dog. Notice Stewie's haircut? He's one of many dogs whose owners are spending money on special services like facials, massages, haircuts, and dye jobs. He's a standard poodle with an unusual haircut. <laughs> I figure since I don't have any hair that he gets all, the, all of the money for the dye job. But Americans are not just spending money on pampering their pets. Many say it's the peace of mind that they're really striving for. And when we're on vacation, we want to know that he's in the best hands possible and that he's getting well taken care of. We asked Chafee, do people think spending a lot on pets is crazy? It's the ones that say, I can't believe people spend that much money on their pet, but then they come and they sign their own dog up. And with the close to $61 billion expected to be spent on pets in 2015, it doesn't look like the booming pet pampering business is slowing down anytime soon. There are a lot of cats and dogs whose owners have dispensable income and they're willing to spend money on these pets, just like their kids. Now, to learn more about the Animal Den, just head to our website, cbs13.com. Dave? All right, Chris.